This market was given to us to create wealth, especially the options trading market. Some people may think of this as a get rich quick thing. I, I hate saying that, but um, obviously I'll be swinging. I'll do day trading. I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever the market gives me. If you want to be a successful trader, you got to start acting like one. You got to have all the tendencies, all the thoughts, all the characteristics, all the drive. You need to believe in yourself and believe in the future that you want. And if you think it's with options trading, the only thing stopping you is not being educated enough, not having the discipline and not being prepared enough. Okay. So if you believe in it, I promise you, please use me as an example. The most important part of making money is knowing how to protect it and knowing how to grow it while protecting it. Um, I'm going to go over everything that you need to have step by step and everybody might have a different risk tolerance level. Me personally, I use around a 15% stop loss max. Um, sometimes I do with smaller positions trade off of levels instead of a certain percentage. Um, if the stock goes below a certain price or breaks a certain pattern, that is when I will be stopped out. But around a 15% stop loss is my main exit level. Now there's nothing wrong with playing a level but it is nice to have that 15%. Step one to this is obviously having a stop loss. I don't care what level it is, you need to have a stop loss right as you enter a trade to make sure you don't get completely clapped. You do not want to get caught bag holding. If we're being realist, it's basically a cheat code. I'm not gonna lie. You can literally have a stop loss at 5% and obviously you will get stopped out of a lot of trades, but you could technically never take big L's and just profit off of a perfect entry point. But again, that's all up to your risk tolerance and your portfolio size, obviously. Step two is having an exit plan. Now this is super similar to a stop loss, but you need to have a certain point in a trade where you know you are going to get out at and you can't be letting just trades ride out because that's when you get profit loss and that's when you get really emotional in your trade. You need to have an entry and an exit so that you can prevent yourself from any emotion and any just guessing. This is gonna give you the opportunity to um, also have a projected gains a risk to loss ratio. So hey, I could be risking, you know, 100 bucks of all my stop loss and I could be profiting 250 from my take profit. So, it's all about a premeditated entry and a premeditated statistical analysis and technical analysis of your charting. Or if you're just taking alerts, you want to have a stop loss and a take profit if they don't provide one already. It is super important because obviously you might be getting an entry from somebody else that has done the technical analysis that is a trusted trader. Nothing wrong with taking an alert, but you want to make sure you have your own stop loss and take profit if they don't provide you one with already because their risk tolerance may be different than yours and their strategy may be different. Now look, I am somebody that takes alerts from time to time, but I still have my own technical analysis. I will initially get into the trade and then I will instantly go and give as much technical analysis as I can. Obviously, after I have my stop loss, my 15% right into my order already, just in case something happens you know, randomly, but I will go and provide myself technical analysis, give me some confidence into the trade, understand why they got into the trade, and then I will follow through with my take profit and everything else. Like I said earlier, this is all about premeditation. You want to know everything that you are doing before you get into the trade. Right now, if you have a 15% stop loss on every single trade that you do, the only way that your L's are bigger than your W's is if your trades that you're making are you're not profiting over 15%. And if you're not profiting over 15% on a 0 DTE day on any index or on SPX, even on a 1 DTE day, you are doing something incredibly wrong and you are risking way too much money for your returns. Again, I want to go through my entire trading checklist just with you. I got it written down. I literally have this next to my trading setup every single day so I never forget. You want to follow the market tone. You never want to play against the market unless it's at a key level of resistance. Um, which is totally fine. But if you're in a bullish uptrending market, you would want to continue playing bullish uptrending plays. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why you would go against the market. You never want to go against the market pretty much. Um, technical analysis itself. You should always, again, if you're following an alert, get in the alert. That is number one. You want to get into the alert at the entry price. You want to have your stop loss ready. You want to have everything, but you want to make sure that you are using technical analysis. If you haven't been provided with it already to provide yourself with confidence. And if you don't like the confidence, and you don't like the setup, you can obviously get out of the trade for a very small loss if it's not up. Um, volume over 500K. Please make sure the volume's over 500K. I personally have only played stuff with over a volume of a million. I like volatile things. I play very volatile markets. SPY obviously is the most volatile stock on planet Earth. So other than like AMC. <laughs> but you want to continue playing with high volume so you can't get stuck in trades. You can't get have. I don't like big spreads either. So you want to make sure you have volume over a million. 
Again, have your exits, have your stop loss, have your exits as in have your stop loss and your take profit. You want to have an exit both to the upside and the downside, totally premeditated. I will say it a thousand times. Follow your conviction. If you have a personal opinion of a completely, if someone else has an opinion that is different than yours, you want to stick with your opinion if it is not proven invalidated. Obviously, if someone can provide you with some information that may invalidate your opinion, then obviously roll with them. Analyze the trade after. If you did take the L, that's the end of my list. I've lost pretty big trades off of just having faked out. Um, you want to follow and analyze the trade after you exit. If it's a good trade or a bad trade, you want to find out why you got on the bad side of it or why you got on the good side, why you profited, what what had to happen for you to have a profitable trade. Same with a negative trade. If you had a bad trade, find out maybe I hit a support, maybe I hit a resistance, I, I don't know. But you want to make sure and go through everything you can to try and find what I did wrong so that you can prevent that from ever happening again. Again, you want to make the most out of every single loss that you have because you want to build off of every single loss and build something way bigger and start making that money, man. I will look you right in the eyes right now and if you have discipline, discipline is the number one thing that every profitable trader can lack, is not having the discipline to trust in your own rules and trust in yourself. Okay, so if you have every single thing that I put in this video, if you stick to that every single day, you keep a stop loss, you keep a take profit, you keep your technical analysis, you grow your education, you keep your discipline, you can become a very profitable trader where you can come do this full time. Like your boy! This is something that completely changed my life just sitting at home trading options, okay? So please use me as an example. Um, love y'all boys, be safe. I, hope, I really hope this helped you out. Um, if you're not subscribed, bro, like what are you doing?